Over the past few days, GBC has reported on Dr. Derek Burke's allegations of lapses in the GHA, which he says affected patient care and in some cases resulted in avoidable deaths. It is his claim that the alleged inaction of his superiors is what led to his decision to circulate these documents. Dr. Burke's email to GHA doctors contains a selection of letters and emails he said he sent to ministers, records of meetings and briefings on the topic of clinical governance, and his recommendations for improvements in service. If he received any replies, they have not been included. GBC has put questions to the government, but Number 6 has said it will not comment on the matter as it is sub judice. In October 2019, Dr. Burke emailed Paul Balbang, Minister for Health at the time, and Acting Medical Director Dr. Krishna Rawal. The email detailed investigations into a sample of 20 cases in which lapses in care were identified. It also included statistics of deaths in Spanish hospitals, as well as recommendations for improving care in the GHA. In January 2020, Dr. Burke emailed the Chief Minister requesting a meeting to discuss patient safety and his view on the standards he felt the health authority should aspire to but was not meeting. He outlined his experience prior to being employed by the GHA and suggested structural changes to the health authority which he felt would help address these issues. Dr. Burke wrote again to Mr. Picardo in May of 2020, requesting time to deliver a presentation underpinning a proposed project which he claimed would facilitate the transformation of the GHA within 12 to 18 months. However, at this time, Gibraltar was only just beginning to emerge from its first lockdown. In August 2020, Samantha Sacramento took over from Mr. Balbang as Minister for Health. Dr. Burke emailed Ms. Sacramento at the end of October 2020. He informed her of his previous correspondence with Mr. Balban and Mr. Picardo and expressed his concern at the lack of progress being made. He also claimed the managerial structure at the GHA lacked the capability to deliver his proposed strategy, stating that Principal Secretary Evelyn Servang and Acting Medical Director Dr. Krishna Rawal lacked the necessary operational experience to fulfil these roles. Dr. Burke redacted three sections of this email when circulating it to his former colleagues. Dr. Burke then met with Ms. Sacramento in December and claimed that, despite his prompting, the issue of patient safety was not discussed. Following a ministerial meeting on clinical governance in January this year, Dr. Burke again emailed Ms. Sacramento, summarising the structural changes he felt would best deliver the required changes to quality, safety and risk management to bring the GHA up to District General Hospital standard. Dr. Burke says he offered to provide a presentation outlining patient safety, quality, cost and risk which was not taken up and that the Minister for Health did not discuss his concerns between the time of his first email in October 2020 and her statement in Parliament in May 2021 where she said she had met with Dr. Burke in relation to issues he had raised. In the same parliamentary session, Fabian Picardo said there was not a shred of evidence behind Dr. Burke's allegations. In his previous emails to former colleagues at the GHA, Dr. Burke said, before leaving Gibraltar, that he was committed to continuing to work for patient safety at the GHA, and that he'd come to the view that the best way to achieve this was by putting pressure on the GHA and on government by documenting his observations of the work that clinical governance has undertaken and what he says are active attempts to obstruct this.